Right, here's Piney Slights. I've just come through this very grassy area with stinging nettles. And I've just found oh, a bit of a sting. All right, so here we are, folks. Earlier, I, I emerged after being on the gorge, North Gorge track. I emerged at some bushes over there where the goats were um, hanging out. Let me just see if they're still there. But of course, the sun's moved, so they probably... Yeah, they wouldn't be in the same place because the sun's moved. Yeah, I can still see some. Yeah, they are still there. There's a stile over that way. I came out of there and then walked across these fields. Went towards Longwood. Walked down the track that I've just come up. Skirting Longwood. Then joined up with... Um, Velvet Bottom, walked all the way down to the bottom of Velvet Bottom, <sighs> across a field, oh I've been stung, something got me then, <sighs> I've got antihistamine cream, I'll be putting that on later, <sighs> then back up Longfield, I went through Longwood as well, and uh, got attacked by masses of gnats in there. I was very lucky, I managed to go through a, a field where, where there were some very restless cows. In fact, in another field, I seen a very um, restless bunch of cows that were jumping about an awful lot and chasing the farmer on his tractor. It's almost as if the farmer was encouraging them in this heat to run about. <sighs> Yes, there was some weird activity going on today with the cows, but um, they moved quite away from me, even though I was in the same field. They had gone through another gate and they were obviously off to the farm to be milked or for some reason. And then later, after I got back towards Longwood, I noticed they were starting to move back already. I can, I can even see them now if I zoom in. The, the field of cows I had to come through are almost back to where I would have had to walk. See that tree there? Not far from that tree, there's a gate back there. Look, there's the cows. They were very restless when I um, saw them. Over there we've got Robera Warren. And there'll be some walks coming up for there, no doubt. And then before now, when the grass has been high like this and I've been quiet, I spotted this small deer in here. Yeah, I have spotted them before now. So I'm going through these meadowy fields with long grass. I don't know whether I'm going to face cows yet. There were no cows there. When I came this morning, I saw no cows, so what I assumed, the cows were all up in the shaded wooded area up the other end. But that, by the look of it, they might still be there, because they're not, they're not here. And it wasn't that long ago, they had calves and everything. And there was quite a big herd. As we come around the corner, no. Maybe they aren't doing... I know they've got some wall repairing to do. I just think they're all over that way. There's some coombs there and bushes. And knowing cows, they will get deep in, into those areas when it's cold. When it's hot, I mean. No, I've dreamed across... Uh, I've dreamed about crossing this field. All year round, it gives... It looks different. All year round, it looks quite wild at the moment. It uh, almost looks abandoned in a strange sort of way. Um, especially with no cows being out. You just wonder what's happening with the farms now. Yeah, over on the Cheddar Gorge, I was just zooming in Cheddar Gorge. somebody standing oh, they've moved now there's somebody right on the edge there oh he's kneeling now probably having a picnic I 
I went up the other side a few weeks back, um, or a month or so now actually. Time goes, doesn't it? I've been watching the World Cup for three weeks. There's only one more week to go after Saturday, it'll be all over. Not this Saturday, following week. England are through to the quarterfinals, and it's the first time they've won a penalty shootout at a World Cup. When it was down to the last 16 between them and Colombia. And they were very pleased because they lost their previous game, but then they didn't put out the same team, you see. They didn't put out the same team. But that could have been a psychological ploy to fool the other, the opposition, to thinking that England weren't very any good. I mean, they do play these tactics, you know. Teams do play all sorts of tactics. And sometimes they're not very nice tactics, and they're cheating. Tripping over, falling, diving, all that sort of thing. <sighs> little bunch of daisies there all on. All on their own, a little group of daisies, look. Fading now. There's been all sorts of flowers in here. I'll tell you what's the saving grace at the moment. As far as um, stopping me getting really thirsty, is I've put this my top o over my head like a shawl, and the air's blowing through and then down through my neck at the back. That's really helped. And um, there's this nice, this nice breeze. It's it is a warm breeze, but it also uh, it does sort of keep you cool. Now looking at the way this path has gone. It looks like no one's been on it since I was there last. It's not very often used. Look. It's only just visible, this path. I wonder if there are cows. The thing is, I think to myself, they're staying in the shade for as long as possible over that way. But they could think to themselves, well, it's time to move now and move down into the, the lower field about this time, see? So now I could face 50 cows in a minute, for all I know. You know, I'm getting through the fields, so I thought this would be sweltering, but I'm actually feeling quite cool. I'm feeling quite cool. going to be a late dinner tonight. If not, I might just have a very light dinner. I don't know what. I've only got a little bit of water, so I'm trying to convince myself I'm not thirsty. And I want to get back before all the shops shut in Cheddar, so I can buy an ice cream and some water. I mean, they should. You think they'd stay open to about seven o'clock at least in the summer, wouldn't you? But they don't. Some of them even shut up four o'clock, even in the summer. You know, you can struggle to get an ice cream or a drink of water. I don't want to be hanging about the bus stop though. What I'll do if I do miss, if I don't make the five o'clock bus, there's only one more bus anyway. I'm, I'll just, I'm not going to sit in that hot bus stop. It's hot in the summer and cold in the winter. I'll go and find somewhere cold to, sh to shelter, to um, cool off. Right, I'm going to turn off for a while now. I've done enough talking and rambling on. Here's my beautiful Somerset. Right over there in the distance is the wireless aerials that I passed. I passed right close. I've took pictures of them up close. Nearly crooked my neck again in the process. And then not far from them, the fields I came down through. 
Piney Slates Farm, you can't see it so much in the summer with all the grass growing. But this is a beautiful walk. It's a very, very peaceful walk and the, the breeze is beautiful. It's a very um, nice feeling. It's a really nice feeling actually. I see a bit's missing. There used to be like a little thing you slot in there and lift up for the dogs to get through, but that's that's gone up like a little paddle. I had to rescue a sheep a minute ago, like a young one. Back there in Long Sheepfield, he got his horn stuck in the fence again. They all do that. A fence like this, they stick their head through to get grass and get their horn stuck. And he was jumping and darting and I managed to calm him down and then I managed to get his horns out. I've done it before with another one a few years back. <coughs> they panic, you see, and they can't, then they can't get out. You have to help them a bit really because uh, you've got to put a prep, you've got to lift up the wire so you can get their, you can usually get one horn out easy but it's getting the other one out. <sighs> Yeah, the goats are all keeping cool as well. And all this pack here looks very dry. I'm just wondering what's happened to the cows. So early to be gone. As she bumps straight into them, you imagine, in a minute. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute, but as you can see, the cow pack is dry. <laughs> 